Good morning, everyone. Dude Man here. And wrap up from yesterday, we did 11.1 miles from Birch Spring, D Birch Spring Tent Site to Spence Field um, Shelter and Double Decker Shelter. Pretty neat little place. When I was here last year during my through hike, there was a, um, um, from here over to there, there was um, a um, tarp across there. So there's kind of a space right here. And so that was different. Today we're doing up and over uh, Rocky Top and Thunderhead Mountain. And we're also going over an area called Siler's Bald. Uh, I think we're going to have great views throughout the whole trek. There's Montreal. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Having his breakfast. Everybody's left. Uh, had two people sleeping in the shelter last night and had about four or five tenters last night. And uh, they... Uh, everybody's left this morning. I'm slow out the gate again. Somehow, some way, I broke my glasses last night. I woke up and this lens right here is just fall. This head was laying right beside of it. There's a little fishing line type wire underneath here. I've had these glasses for several years. Fortunately, I had some tape that I usually tape up blisters or areas where I hurt my, uh, hurt my legs or something like that. And, uh, put it over there with some Luco tape. But uh, we're going to get on the road and hit the trail today and have a 13.5 miles to double spring gap. All right, dude man out. I was hoping to find some blueberries that were ripe on the trail, but they are not. But uh, hopefully they'll get that way soon. I think we're going to be able to pop out for a view of Rocky Top. Nice little open meadow here. Oh, sweet. That's not Rocky Top. I'd identify that one for you. Zoom in. There's Rocky Top and Thunderhead Mountain there. All right, looks like a beautiful day to hike. Dude man out. All right. This right there is Rocky Top. And that right there is Thunderhead. That's where our objective is. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to get up there, but uh, somehow we're going to end up on top of that mountain over there, Thunderhead, and then we'll go uh, on from there. Dude Man out. Hey, it's Dude Man, and here we are on top of Rocky Top. And off in the distance there, let me zoom in for you there, is Klingman's Dome, the highest point on the OT, AT. Right now, it was very hazy back in there. Of course, you, we were affected by the uh, smoke and the fires uh, out west, and that is blowing out this way. And uh, as we pan around here, uh, some of the other mountains, these are the mountains back this way that we hiked through over the past few days. A doe knob is back that way. And uh, some of the other little smaller mountains as we came up into this area. Got some day hikers here. Hello. <laughs> and uh, so we're just having a good time out here. Uh, a little bit of struggle this morning, a little bit more humid than I thought it would be. But uh, we're uh, still got 13 miles, 13.5 miles to do total today. So I need to take a little rest and get on with the trail. All right, dude man out. All right, Dude Man here, and Thunderhead Mountain coming up. We got a little saddle in between and go up over Thunderhead and heading towards Clemens Dome going that way. All right, Dude Man out.
Uh, lots of patches of blackberries through here, but uh, they're not ripe yet. One of the things I loved last year was eating blueberries and blackberries and raspberries and mulberries and even cranberries on the trail. And uh, But uh, I found a couple of ripe blackberries, but they're just now starting to turn. Sometimes, well, as you seen from the video a while ago, had some uh, blueberries back there. We're very, very green. So maybe we'll see something a little bit later on. All right, dude man out. Hey, dude man here. Uh, got a half a mile descent down to Starkey Gap. According to a gut hook entry at the top of this climb, if you're going Sobo, and I'm going Nobo, uh, at the top of this climb, uh, there's been a rattlesnake, timber rattlesnake sighting, and been mentioned multiple times, like in a trail journal at the camps or something like that. But, uh, of course, I'm not at a shelter or anything like that. But uh, so it should be within a few feet of where I'm at because I'm fixing to go no bow and go uh, go down this area. Um, just a little bit of filming, see what we come up with, and uh, see if we run into the rattlesnake. Um, I'll try to film as long as I can here. If it starts getting treacherous going downhill, I'm going to I'm going to stop the video because I cannot negotiate. In other news. Uh, I'm struggling today. Got a 13 and a half mile day. The humidity is way up. I know when I went through this section last year from Spence Field to Double Spring Gap, it was raining most of the day. And uh, it's tough. Uh, it was tough then, but at least it was cool. Had no views. And uh, last year, pretty good views here and there hazy because of the uh, wildfires out west, but uh, at least you can see some stuff. Okay, I'm near the top. I'm going down and uh, supposedly there's timber rattlers around here somewhere. It's getting a little bit too treacherous for me to just film. If I come up on it, I'll try to give it a wide berth and get a little video here, but I can't do this and uh, film at the same time. All right, dude man out. Hey, it's Dude Man. I'm here in Starkey Gap, and um, that's the way I came from. I'm heading that way up that hill. So I had a good downhill coming come from there. Uh, according to gut hooks, near the top of this climb, you'd be going Sobo, and that's that direction. Uh, there was supposed to be in a timber rattler. Didn't see it. And I got another little small up and didn't go down. Problem is, uh, I've been hiking since 930, and it's 2 o'clock, 
and that's four and a half hours. I've only done 4.2 miles. Of course, I've taken some breaks along the way. Heat and humidity is really killing the dude man. And uh, still got nine miles to go. If I continue along that pace with nine, I mean, one mile an hour, nine hours would be 11 o'clock tonight. And that ain't good at all. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to be able to go on top of some of these ridge lines and get some movement. Or maybe in a, a later afternoon or evening hours of hiking right before sunset, I'll be able to knock out some more miles if it cools down. Heat's really killing me. Um, didn't have this kind of heat until I was in Massachusetts last year doing my through hike. All right. That's enough for a break. Ate me a candy bar, fruit strip, resupplied my water. It's got both of them filtered. Got some Mio in it, ready to go. And uh, nine more miles. It would be great if I could do it in four and a half, but I really doubt it in the shape I'm in. It's going to have to cool down a lot, too. Just sweating really bad. All right. Dude, man out. This is pretty cool looking. Ah, uh, sugar. Ah, uh, honey, honey. You are my tree, girl. You got me wanting you. 4,435 feet. Still got a little ways to go towards uh, my destination tonight. Double Spring Gap. I'm pouring with the idea of stopping up short, eating supper right before sunset. And then uh, go ahead and start hiking the last miles in the dark. We'll see what happens. It'll be a short supper. But uh looks like dude man might have to hike in the dark. We'll see what happens. Alright. Dude man out. Derek Knob Shelter. I thought there'd be somebody here. Dude, man. Yellow Jacket and Grey Goose was here. Left at 1.45 p.m. All right. All right, dude man here. Been hiking six nine thirty. Spence Field is six miles back. So only about one mile an hour. Um, the shelter, which I want to go to tonight, is 7.4 miles. So 30, 30, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30. That's not good. Uh, the shelter before that, uh, two miles before that, is um, one that I possibly could uh, stop off maybe for a light supper and then continue on the last two miles. I don't know. Trying to figure it out as we go along here. This little shelter really buggy right now. A lot of little gnats, a few honeybees running around, but they're just flying all over the place. I think you might be able to see them in the picture there. Yeah, lots of them. All right, do me trying to figure out what, what we're going to do. Uh, Got to take a rest break because I know there's a big climb up to Siler Bald. And uh, that's 5.7, so almost six miles. And then I got a uh, 7.4 to uh, double spring shelter. I'm hoping um, 
Montreal catches up to me and we hike together in the dark, that would be good. But uh, we'll see what happens. All right, dude man out. All right, Duke Men here, 4.4 miles to the next shelter, Siler Bald Shelter. Got to go up and over a bald. Um, wow, if I could get there in two and a half hours on seven o'clock for the uh, sunset, going over that bald, that'd be sweet. But we'll have to see what happens. Um, but if I get there at sunset, I still got almost three miles to get to my shelter of the night. Uh, since four o'clock, since I stopped back there at Derek Knob shelter, the uh, temperatures dropped probably five degree, five to 10 degrees. I got a little bit more of a breeze, especially blowing in my face. I don't feel so miserable. I'm hoping a section hiker that uh, is out here, uh, Montreal, will catch up to me at Derek Knob shelter and we can hike together, I'm sorry, at Siler Bald Shelter, and we can hike together in the dark the last almost three miles. And uh, I feel a whole lot more comfortable doing that in the dark, especially with the bears and the feral pigs out here. So, or I might just spend the night at uh, Siler Bald. We'll have to see what happens. All right, dude man out for right now, but I'm feeling a little bit better. Check you later. Bye. Hey, dude man here. What a day. Left at 9.30, it's now 8.30, 11 and a half miles, one mile per hour. So humid, I can't hardly stand it. Well, even though the night is near the falling, I'm still struggling here. I still got 1.7 to go, and I think I'm just gonna stay at the shelter here. Got a, looks like a huge family-sized tent here, <laughs> which is crazy. But uh, I think I'm gonna just stay here and rest up. And uh, it'll be uh, 12 and a half to get out to Newfound Gap tomorrow in the rain. But uh, it should be interesting. All right, dude man out. Hey guys. How's it going? You doing all right? What a huge tent. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow. Anybody staying in the shelter? Yeah. Is it full? Yeah, it's a good hey, how you doing? Doing good. Room for me? Oh, yeah. Nice. Looks like I'm taking the lower. All right, dude man out.